Hello, everybody. Don't know where that voice came from, but uh, welcome to this little video on D&D rules, and I'm continuing on with covering spells and how they function. I believe we've covered the vast majority of the rules behind spells. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to take a look at one very popular spell. We're going to look through all the different details and just cover how they all work. Kind of consider it a summary video, if you will, uh, just to kind of bring it all home. So I already pulled up the spell Fireball. It is a classic spell. Uh, and we're just going to go through it really quickly. So uh, this is of third level, so you will need a third level spell slot in order to cast it. Additionally, you will need one action, not a bonus action, not a reaction, one action specifically. Remember, they are not interchangeable. Uh, now the range and area we actually haven't covered yet, but range basically means that you need or you can target something within, within 150 feet. Now, uh, the range, or rather, I'm sorry, the area here, it's got a little sphere. Uh, this is actually the area of effect. Um, this, is a, a, this is kind of broken down in a little bit more detail in the spell description. But basically, um, the spell works uh, by you starting by picking out a point in space that's within 150 feet, as we previously established. And then every creature within a 20-foot radius, not a 20-foot circumfer or, uh, diameter, 20-foot uh, radius centered on that point needs to make a dexterity saving throw. So you can see here that this is listed in the attack and save. Uh, additionally, there are components that you need to make sure you have with this spell. You need to make sure that you can speak. This is verbal. Make sure you can move your hands. Uh, so that's somatic. And then the material cost here is a tiny ball of bat, guano, and sulfur. Yes, those are the correct materials. Now, remember, you can ignore this if you have a spell casting focus, because there is no gold value associated with this. So we're not casting like Resurrection or something that does require, I think it's like a diamond worth of 500 GP. Uh, so you can override this if you have access to a spell casting focus, which I believe just about every uh, class does. Or you can gross your party out by carrying around a bunch of back guano and sulfur. Uh, from here, the duration, this is not a continued spell, this is not concentration or anything like that, it is instantaneous. Now, the School of Magic, we also haven't covered previously. Uh, this uh, refers to the different types of magic in the world. Evocation is specifically a school of magic that re refers to basically spells that are focused on attacking and doing damage, which pretty much perfectly summarizes Fireball. Uh, there are other schools of magic, uh, such as abjuration, uh, transfiguration, uh, let's uh, illusion, necromancy, and a whole bunch of other fancy names. They are in the player's handbook, and I think they're also in the dungeon master's guide. Uh, these just give you a better idea of what kind of spell it is. So, if you are looking for something that you know maybe bolsters your defense, I believe that is. I'm double checking because I can never remember. I believe that is abjuration. Uh, magic. So you can also filter by the school type. Then over here we have the attack and save. So this is not a ranged attack roll. This is a deck save specifically for the enemy. And then this lists the damage and effects. So in this case, this is obviously fire. Uh, so let's see if there's anything else in the details over here. A bright streak flashes from your pointing finger to a point you choose within range and then blossoms with a low roar into an explosion of flame. Each creature in a 20-foot radius sphere centered on that point must make a dexterity saving throw. Target takes 8d6 fire damage on a failed save or half as much damage on a successful one. Uh, then over here we have the fire spreads around corners. This is important to note. Uh, because if you, say, have an annoying goblin that's hiding around a corner, then uh, this would uh, still uh, grab it. It ignites flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. So, also very important to note, in case you happen to be in a tavern that is, you know, uh, made of wood, perhaps. Uh, this is also why uh, dungeon masters may ask you to read the details of a spell. So, uh, just be careful what you cast. And uh, lastly, uh, we have the option to cast this at higher levels. So this is a third level spell, but if we boost it up to a more powerful, uh, excuse me, more powerful version uh, of fourth level, then the damage increases by 1d6 for each slot above third level. So if we were to cast this at fourth level, it would be 9d6. If we cast it at fifth level, it would be 10d6 fire damage, potentially, depending on how they perform on their save. Uh, 
So that is going to just do a quick summary of all the different details you may find on a spell. Uh, definitely go through D&D Beyond or Player's Handbook and just, you know, see if you can find any really cool spells. Uh, you may find some really interesting combinations that work well together. I definitely recommend the fire slash grease effect. Uh, There's a really cool spell. So any fire spell and uh, the spell grease is a very popular option, I will say. So see if there's any cool combinations you can get or some really interesting things that you can cast. Have some fun with it. And don't forget that you can swap out spells per day. So if you try out a set of spells that you know maybe isn't really working for you or you have a set of enemies that are resistant to certain spells, don't forget you can rest and swap those out okay so that's going to conclude this particular video i believe we are now done with spells entirely so if you have any other questions regarding to spells and maybe we haven't covered it please let me know in the comments as always i encourage you to check out our website dnd.thedae.com uh, we've got a bunch of really really cool stuff on the website we also have uh, options for games that you can join if you want to hop in and get on uh, get on the adventure today and get some gold punch monsters in the face and cast some crazy spells, perhaps. Okay, I will see you later. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in another point in the future. I need to learn how to end videos. Bye.